let's do this already. Just um, this right here. Are we gonna mess up my hair with this? Um, shouldn't. If you get it you right. Put it on right now. Yeah, you can put them on right now. Yeah, uh, you can probably move your hair back if you want, so it gets over your ears better. Just move it back. There you go. Better? Yeah. And now you want to move the microphone just like that. And a little bit closer. You have to be perfect. That's great. Okay. Okay? Alright. And keys right here. Looking left, looking right. Say clear. Clear. Start! I hear me. Yeah. Are you loud and clear? Awesome. All right. So the first thing I check right after the engine starts is I make sure. See this little gauge right here. This is oil pressure. We've got good oil pressure. It's in the positive green. And ground radio check. We can hear each other and talk to each other nice and loud and clear. Am I too loud or are you too loud? Yes, sir. Good. Good. You hear me just fine. Okay. So after we get start. Started. What's the next on thing on our checklist? Um, oil temperature. Oh, uh, we've got good oil temperature. It's warming up. Throttle. Um, we we're fine. We've got the throttle good now. I've turned the fuel pump off. What's next? I've turned on the avionics master. It's on. Oh. <laughs> What's that? AWOS. So we'll listen to the weather, which doesn't have JD's voice on it, but we'll check it. Station. We'll listen two, there and one, two, hear what the zero, wind's zero, doing and stuff. Wind two zero zero at zero six. Visibility one zero. Sky condition clear. Temperature two seven Celsius. Dew point one three Celsius. Altimeter three zero one one. Great. Three zero one one is what I heard on the altimeter. But what I'll go ahead and do is I'll set it to that. Three zero one one. Okay, I've set that altimeter. This one says we're about 1,200 feet above the ground, and this one also says the same thing when we set it to 1,200. That's perfect. What's next? Instruments are set. So we've got blue is up, brown is down, and the wings are level. Airspeed zero, and we're showing 1,200 feet on the altimeter. That's great. So what's after the taxi part? Yeah, you can read it out. Brakes. Uh, brakes, so we'll check the brakes when we get going. Throttle. Oh, no, it's the first oh, part. No, part. Yeah, that part. So we got the transponder on, and we set it to altitude squawk. So we're going to make a radio call, and we're going to call ground control and ask for permission to taxi some. All right, so this is where we talk. Hey, good afternoon, Hickory Ground, Remus 119er Golf X-Ray. 119er Golf X-Ray, Ground. Remus 119er Golf X-Ray, we're on the north ramp, ready to taxi, request a VFR departure to the east. One one nine golf X ray taxi runway two four via Bravo and Alpha. When one nine zero six altimeter three zero one one. And one one nine golf X ray request runway one nine if able. Roger taxi runway one nine or via Bravo. Taxi runway one nine or via Bravo. Remote one one nine golf X ray. So now we're down to we'll parking Alpha 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 brake off. Change approved. And as we get started going, we'll check the brakes and we checked them and we'll also pull the throttle back just a little bit more idling. Now, just like I showed you to steer on the ground, what you've got here, and I'll take this, I'll take the checklist, put your feet up on the pedals. Yep, and your left hand up here, and your right hand down here on the brake. Good. So we'll check to see if the brakes work. Push down with your right hand. Looking out. Stops. Good. Let go with your right hand. Take your right foot and guide the nose of the airplane over here to the right. Very good. This is called taxiing. And, with your left hand, pull the throttle back just a tiny bit more. Perfect. That's great, Justin. That's great. Looking left. You see anybody left? No one to the right. I want you to gently push down on the brake. Your right hand a little bit to slow down. And perfect. Take your right foot and guide your airplane's nose to the right following this yellow line. So take your right foot and push it. Right foot. You can push your right foot harder. It's okay. Now, center the pedals with your feet. And you can let go of the brake. It'll kind of go uphill. You can rest your hand on the brake, though. Take your left foot and move it to the left. So you can see, you're fine. The speed you're at now is great, Jess. You can see what you can make the it's nose do. Play around with yeah. it if you want. Push the left pedal with your left foot. 
Awesome, so it steers left. Then push the right pedal with your right foot. This speed is great. This is a great speed. Try to steer the nose to make the yellow line look like it goes right through the right side of your leg. Of your right leg. There you go. Awesome. Now right foot. Right here, Jess, you're going in a straight line, and the nose is on the center line, because you sit slightly left of the center. Awesome. This is perfect speed. Don't need to go any faster, and it is just awesome. Now, as you come up here, the taxiway is going to curve left, and you're just going to take your right. Perfect. You're doing good. More brake. You can slow down a little more. You're going to follow this curve to the left, and we'll stop just before the runway. Awesome job. Now, you'll start pushing harder on the brake. Harder on the brake. This is a great spot to stop. Awesome. So, mash down pretty hard pressure on the brake, and I'm going to help you set the parking brake by twisting it to the right. Let her go. Excellent. Good job. Thank you. Hey, you saw you take a deep breath. You did good. <laughs> awesome. All right, next. All right. Doors are as secure as they're going to be. Passengers. All right, you know what to do. We talked about what to do in the case of an emergency. We know how to exchange the flight controls between each other, and we also know that we're going to be quiet whenever ATC is talking, and we're just going to take off fly a nice flight out to the east. Next. Uh, trim. Nope. Okay, so the trim's set in the middle for neutral. All right, we'll push push that white switch down until it indicates the yellow light next to 15. A little more, a little more. Perfect, good. All right, switch the fuel pump on right here. Good job, next. Transponder, check on set altitude. That's how it helps the controller see us. But you see right here, it says ALT for altitude. That's perfect. All right, so we're going to switch the radio, so push it. Right here, yep, switch it. You ready? So I'll take the checklist and I'll put it right here. So I'm going to do the takeoff and then once we get in the air, I'm going to give you the flight controls and let you fly. You ready? Okay. Hickory Tower for Remos, 119er Golf X-Ray, ready for takeoff, 19 eastbound. 19 Golf X-Ray, runway 19er, uh, eastbound, due eastbound is approved and clear for takeoff. Due eastbound approved, clear for takeoff, 119 Golf X-Ray. Ready? Hickory Tower, Aerobat, 46, Fox Drive, Smithfield for the option. They're on the right. Runway 24, clear for the option. They're on the left, no one. Clear for the option, 46, Fox Drive. Okay, Jess. Mm -hmm. All right, the engine instruments are good. We're making power. The nose is up. And we're going to be in the air right now. Awesome. <laughs> How you doing? Fine. You alright? Yeah. Alright, cool. The other thing I meant to tell you, at any point you're like, oh, I've had enough, I want to go back, let me know. We'll okay. come right back. Now, this first turn we're going to make is going to be a very gentle turn to the left. Do you see anybody out there left? We'll start a very smooth turn left. So we've got a great rate of climb going. We're flying at about 77 knots. Here, Jess. We're coming through 1,900 feet. And when we get up to altitude here, about 2300, I'm going to lower the nose and level off. And we'll just cruise around sort of at a lower power setting so it's not quite so loud. Probably nothing more faster than about 90 miles. Right about here. How you doing? Fine. Awesome. Now, you want to take the controls and fly some? Sure. Which hand do you want to fly with, left or right? Right. Alright, I'm right here with you, but I want to take your right hand, just only your fingertips like this. Don't hold them stiff, just light and easy. 
and look over the nose, because that's where I want you to see what happens outside of the airplane. So, Jess, you have the flight controls now. I got flight controls. Good job, you got the flight controls. You did great. Now, what I want you to do is just fly right down Highway 70, straight ahead here. I'm going to let you just see kind of what the controls do first by just what, pushing and pulling the stick forward. What I want you to do now is push the stick forward, Jess, about a, oh, a half inch. You see the nose goes down? Back off X-ray, we'll change frequency, and we'll probably stay with you. Now, you see how you got the nose down, and the altitude's going down? And now, we're speeding up now. Gently pull the nose up. And the nose goes up. Awesome. We're going to try a turn. So you're going to use your hand and put your feet up on the pedals. Let's just try it with just lightly using our feet first. Take your right foot and I want you to push in about one inch and you're going to look outside. You're going to see the nose moving right and the wing is going to bank to the right too. Awesome. And you see the nose changing its as it's moving along the horizon. Good. We're turning right over here towards Dillard's signature area right over there. And now, you can just think by just pressing the stick lightly to the left. You don't have to bank very steeply. But we'll go over here as we fly down CarMax and the mall. And the speedway's over here. You want to go towards the fairground. I see the fairgrounds. I got it. We'll go right over there towards it. Just a little more throttle here. That'll help you. How you doing? Hi. Awesome. Doing a good job. If you see the horizon tilted, take your hand and very gently move it left. Perfect. And if you want it to go back level, just take your hand and move your foot and your hand just a little bit. That was a bump that just happened. You didn't do it. So you're just fixing it. Great job. This is straight and level flight. When we're doing the straight and level flight, the altimeter's not going up or down much. And we're just holding it trend. You're pointing the nose straight towards the fairgrounds right now. Seven six seven Tango, runway two four taxi vehicle runway awesome. alpha wind one nine zero seven altimeter three zero one one. The other thing we do when we're flying Jess is we want to keep our eyes out, and look around, obviously check and scan for airplanes. And how I want you to do that is try not to fixate and look inside so much, but look outside and just take your head and kind of keep it on a swivel looking for airplanes both below the horizon, that's on the horizon, and above the horizon, too. Where was your friend at? Um, he was on the... He was on where? Uh, the fairground for the baseball game. Well, here's the... Oh, okay, I see it, I see it. Okay. Well, we're going to make a turn over it. Uh, go just a little bit more left towards 70, and then I'll guide you to turn. Perfect job, perfect job. Now, right stick and right toe a little bit to get it level. Sweet, they're actually playing. Are they now, really? Yep, so now start a gentle turn to the right. A little more right bank, perfect. Now you can look at it on my side as we fly around. They're out there. Is he playing right now? Yeah, he's a pitcher. Oh, he's pitching right now? Yep. Is he in the red team or what? Yeah, they're red. Well, he was pitching. Was he really? Yeah, they were pitching. That's he's funny. going right back out right now. That's him. That's funny. What? Nice job. Nice job. Okay. Head her on back to the right. Doing a good job. You're using just little control movements. How's your hands? Okay. Not used to it. Head on to the mall. Cool. Oh. Now, if you let go of the stick, I want you to look outside. Where does the nose go? Oh, it kind of goes up a little bit. That's good. Now you can put your hand. Let it just slowly climb like this. We'll fly over the city. And Hickory Tower, Remos 119, Golf X-Ray. Remos 119, Golf X-Ray, turn. 119, Golf X-Ray, five miles east. We'd like to transition northbound towards the lake and then come in for a straight in approach runway 24. And I can go up X-ray, Roger, what altitude? Uh, 2,000 MSL for 119, I X-ray. Awesome.
chest tug. Got that chest approved. Altimeter 3010. Traffic will be a uh, Cessna turning left downwind or left crosswind to downwind runway 24. 3010, and we'll call you. Uh, uh, you want to call in on a four mile final for 90 off X right? Be fine. 90 off X drive. Hug back a half inch, Jess. And let's show you, yep, the backwards on the stick. Now, I'm going to show you how the trim works. Take your thumb on this switch. I want you to toggle the switch down. Yep, so down for a second. And you're going to feel the stick lighten up, and the nose will want to stay up just a little bit, right? And as you do that, you've just trimmed the nose up, and we're getting a very slow climb. I want you to push the throttle forward another half inch. Feel good. Awesome, awesome. Perfect. Great, great, great. And you see we're going up on altitude? Now we're going to level off by pushing forward on the stick. Just enough to stop the altitude moving? Great. And pull the throttle back to you see 4,200. Right there. Excellent, excellent. Now see how you're having to push forward on the stick with a little bit of force, Jess? Take your thumb on the trim switch and move it the opposite way towards down for about a second. And it should get lighter and not have to push as much. Feels better? So if you let go of the stick, where's the nose go? Awesome. Stay still. You got it trimmed perfect. Just nudge forward a little bit and you fly towards the lake. Every so often, look inside and check your altitude. If it's 20 feet high or low, move the stick or or push in the direction you need to maintain the altitude. But then, come back outside and look around. Because that's what we're up here for, just checking around the view. But make a gentle turn left and we'll head towards Lake Hickory. That's the Highway 127 bridge that's right out over there. Awesome. So we're still climbing a little bit, so nudge forward on the stick and give it a half second trim towards the down spot. So half second forward on the trim. So switch forward. Down. Yep, down, yeah. That should feel better. Let go of it. And where does the nose want to go now? Oh, uh, okay. That's good. In other words, you're not having to fight it. Cool. The runway we're going to land on is right out there on your left. You see it way out there? Kind of the bare spot that's over there. I'm going to line you up for it. Or I tell you what. Let's turn. I want you to turn and follow the lake. And tower 119 got X ray. Uh, is there any chance we can set up for a wide left base for a 19? Uh, November 119 Gulf X-ray, it's approved you for the uh, uh, wide left face runway 19. Hey, call you on a wide left face runway 19, 119 Gulf X-ray. 146 Foxtrot, uh, if able, turn awesome. right down to two. Now, to the ramp I want you to take your hand back on the throttle, Jess, and I want you to pull it back just a little bit to where you see 4200. Taxi to the ramp, yeah. Pull back a little bit. 146 Foxtrot. Excellent, excellent job. And 119 Gulf X-ray, so about a two mile wide left base for one nine. Nine go X ray runway one nine third lane. Third lane runway one nine one one nine golf X ray. Alright, so when we're getting ready to come in here and land, we're gonna be slowing down and we're gonna be lining up with the runway making our approach. And I'll kinda tell you what all's going on with that. My goal is here, once we get down low to the ground, is just kind of to skim the ground. I got picture like taxi the ram. No picture taxi to the ram. To the ram. Now one one nine got picture. Nobody left. Nobody right.
Oh, on taxi in. Sure. All right. Feet up on the saddle. Left hand throttle, right hand brake. Come straight towards Mario. Just go straight towards him. Kind of act like you're somewhat happy. I mean, yeah, look at her. She's like, what the heck? What the heck? Just keep going. Just keep going. Ha <laughs> She's staring. <laughs> Alright, now you can go left. Awesome.